Excuse me. Hey guys, who this? Don't worry, you did not click on the wrong channel. I'm just wearing a wig today because I just did not feel like dealing with my hair. So yeah, welcome to a replacement day 27 of 31 days of Halloween K-pop. I know that I just like completely disappeared and that we're one third of the way into November, but after taking a break and thinking about it, I decided that I do want to finish my Halloween videos because I was just so close. So look forward to some Halloween videos in November, I guess. Uh, typical Heather, better late than never is my life motto. If you don't want to listen to me talk a lot, I'm going to leave a timestamp for when the actual reaction starts if you just want to skip ahead to that. But for anyone who cares, I guess I'm going to do kind of a life update. So as you may or may not know my vix voodoo doll reaction was removed from youtube and i was given a warning their reasoning was that i was promoting self-harm i will admit this is basically my fault because i was trying to be honest so when i uploaded my video i checked the little box that said this video contains stuff like blood because if you've seen voodoo doll you know it has like some pretty graphic scenes in it so I just wanted to check that I didn't care if my video got age restricted or demonetized because I don't really make money from any of my videos anyway because of copyright so I didn't care I just was trying to be honest in case you know maybe kids shouldn't see that I don't know but I thought they would just age restrict it or something or say I couldn't have ads or whatever but no they removed it and gave me a warning which could turn into a strike if I did something else within a week, then I would get a strike and then it, I wouldn't be able to upload or anything for a while and just yada yada yada. I got really upset because I was already struggling to finish my Halloween videos and I kind of felt like I got punished for being honest and then they started looking at everything. They took my thumbnail down for my Summy Full Moon video because it was too sexual and I can think of a million thumbnails right now that are more sexual than that one was so I changed it to a different thumbnail that I feel like if you think it's sexual that's on you that is subjective I feel like objectively it was just a normal thumbnail she was just sitting on the couch with her knees together and everything so <sighs> but they took that one down too and said it was too sexual. So I was fed up. So I made that little video, that like black screen video that just said, read the description. And then I basically have not even looked at my YouTube channel since I posted that black screen video that just said read the description and sort of explained what had happened. So I just took a step back, took a break, did whatever I wanted to do, slept a lot. Also some things sort of happened that made it more difficult to film and made me sort of just not want to film or edit or anything. I have so many videos that I filmed but have not edited. So there have been some changes at my work which make things more difficult with time and everything. And also I was really feeling stressed about the US election and everything. I usually don't care much about stuff like that but I feel like the whole world cared about this election so I was just like waiting to see what happened with that and I felt a lot of anxiety about it I did go out and vote though but I don't want to discuss politics on my channel at all really but no more than I just did anyway now that that's over I feel like I can breathe a sigh of relief. And then something else happened like, I don't know, five or six days ago, a week ago, that made me really scared and made me not want to do anything. So I live out in the middle of nowhere. I have a lot of woods around me, a lot of trees, a lot of land. And I was coming home one night and when I pulled in the driveway, I saw a light upstairs in my barn that's like way up there on the hill. And I called my mom and I was like, there's some kind of light up there in the barn. I don't know what it is. I'm scared. My mom came up there with me. I sort of walked halfway up there and I was like, nope. And then I started screaming things like, I'm calling the police, you better leave, stuff like that. So I actually did call the police. I came in to call the police. And when I went back out, the light was gone. So the cops came and they, searched around my property. They couldn't find anyone, but I feel like I kind of like scared the person away. My mom also saw the light too, so I'm not just making this up and being crazy. There was somebody up in my barn at nighttime. There's like a little upstairs that you go up and there's windows and there was a light in the window. And 
and I'm already a scaredy cat. I'm already like afraid of the dark, afraid of everything. So that made me just feel very unsafe in my own house. I'm so terrified every night now. I didn't want to be filming or anything because I was afraid that I would turn around and there would be somebody right at the door and I have just not been myself. I haven't been doing things that I normally do because I'm afraid, but I'm starting to get a little better now, starting to kind of go back to normal. So I'm finally getting around to making videos again. Although it's difficult because I obviously don't want to film at nighttime because that's even scarier, but that's the best time to film. I'm filming this in the daytime right now. I like worked everything around and made it so that I can film in the daytime. But yeah, that happened. And one more thing before I get into the reaction. I'm sorry, I tend to talk way too much. Like I said, if you don't care about any of this, you could just skip to the reaction. There are some people that might care about this, but one more thing before I start about my Halloween dance cover. I just want to be really open and honest with you guys and say that one of the reasons that I haven't danced in a while and I don't want to do another dance cover is because I've gained weight and I'm just afraid of people thinking stuff like, wow, she let herself go or oh my god, she gained so much weight. I don't feel like I look horrible or anything. I don't hate myself. I don't hate my body. But the internet is not a nice place and I already got comments telling me to lose weight back when I thought I looked super fine. So, alright, so my camera died. I'm just super prepared as always and I also noticed that my hoodie string was like all curled up for that whole first part of the video. So sorry if that bugs you. It'll probably bug me too when I'm editing. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I've gained weight and I just didn't want people to say anything about it or think I've let myself go because part of me feels like a lot of people only liked my dance covers because they thought I was hot and not really because I was a good dancer. I do still want to do a Halloween dance cover. I'm gonna try to get it together within the next week, hopefully, because I really need to take down my Halloween decorations in the living room and I can't do that until I either do my dance cover or decide that I'm not going to do it at all. So I haven't completely given up on the idea of a Halloween dance cover yet. It's just gonna be super effing late, so please, I'm sorry, have patience. I feel like I'm not the only person who gained weight this year. I feel like it's kind of a meme in 2020, you know, the quarantine 15, and I do plan on getting back in shape. I am just really not willing to go to extremes to be skinny. It's just not worth it to me because if you're unhappy, then what's the point? Maybe I should have made a separate life update video to talk about this. Maybe I will put this in a separate video. I don't know because this is a ridiculously long intro that has nothing to do with the video. So finally, let's get on to the actual video. I didn't want to not have a day 27 Halloween video because it would bother me to have it go like 25, 26, 28. So I decided to replace Voodoo Doll with something that some of you guys asked me to react to and it is the Dreamcatcher Boca dance video, K-Zombie version. I'm really excited. I'm getting more into Dreamcatcher since I did my videos at the beginning of the month. I'm still a little worried that I'll get the members names wrong. Please don't kill me if I do. I'm learning. I feel like I'm slowly becoming an insomnia over time, so I'm learning still. Please just have patience. Don't kill me if I get a member's name wrong. Anyway, let's go ahead and watch the video. All right, Dreamcatcher, Boca, K-Zombie version, Lego. Oh snap, it starts out with a warning. Warning. 사람에 따라 공포감, 혐오감을 줄수 있는 장면이 포함되어 있으니 시청해 주에 바랍니다. So basically, this video may contain scenes that some people might find scary, so viewer discretion advised. Now I'm kind of a little bit scared to watch it. It can't be that scary, right? Right? I guess we're about to find out. Ooh. I love the lighting and everything. It really set the mood and the set looks really cool. Oh, that backup dancer on the left really caught my attention. Oh my god, Gaihan. She is so pretty. I love people who have like fullness in the outer corners of their upper lips. I call it like cat lips. Yeonjun and Subin from TXT have it too. I just think it looks really attractive. Dummy! She has so much charisma, especially with her deep voice. I love it. I really like Jiu. She might be in the running to be the bias. I love the movements. They look so graceful, especially with the traditional clothing. 
This might sound weird, but Sua to me looks like a girl version of I Am from Monster X. Am I the only one who sees that? Oh, with the fan. I love this like Venus flytrap move. Okay, with the fan. Oh my god. A slow neck roll, and then I think she stuck her tongue out too. I'm not sure. I wish they would have zoomed in on that. Fun fact I have never seen a historical drama. At least I don't think I have. For some reason, I feel like I wouldn't be interested in them. But that's probably not true, because most Korean dramas are entertaining. I should give one a chance. So leave me any recommendations for a historical drama. Oh my god, did you see Shiyun during K-Contact, if you watched it? She looked stunning with the blue contacts and the makeup and the blonde hair. Is her hair blonde under that hat? Oh, there's zombies now! Ew, that looks so creepy, her movements being all jerky and everything. There's a lot of neck rolls in this. The vocals! Oh! Uh, actually, she could get me. I wouldn't mind. I don't know about you. All right, so that was Dreamcatcher Boca dance video, K-Zombie version. I feel like I talked way too much at the beginning of this video, so I'm not going to talk a lot at the end. I will say that the next two Halloween videos coming up, I filmed before my VIX video got removed, so I still have my Halloween nails and everything then. Not that it matters to anyone, I'm just saying there are going to be some inconsistencies in my appearance and everything, so yeah. And then I still have not filmed day 30 and 31. So once again, there will be some inconsistencies in my appearance in the upcoming videos. Plus I have some other normal reactions that I filmed like three weeks ago. So yeah, I have a lot to get caught up on. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!